I actually think everything now hinges on the president's reelection. If the president is not reelected, there will be no justice uh, and uh, it will be a final win for the globalists. This country will go hurtling over the cliff to globalism. Uh, it will be the end of democracy as we know it. The greatest single threat to us today is the threat of internet censorship uh, because it will remove the platform by which not only we talk to each other, but in which we can combat the corporate owned media narrative, uh, which prior to the invention of the internet completely controlled all public affairs. That's why you see this regiment of internet censorship now kicking into high gear. It is in preparation for the upcoming election. There are three elements here that are deeply problematic uh, for the president, uh, and those would be uh, the uh, potential for voter fraud, which we saw some of in 2016, uh, but not a lot of because of the overconfidence of the Democrats. Uh, but mail-in ballots are, in fact, an open invitation for voter fraud. Uh, and uh, the uh, unfortunately, our Justice Department has done nothing over the last three and a half years to prepare for this. Secondarily is the danger of internet censorship, as we have just discussed. Uh, it is removing the amplification of the president's voice. It is removing uh, the echo chamber, uh, but more importantly, it is removing the platform uh, with which the president needs to counterattack uh, and to uh, put forward a contrary narrative to the one being spun by CNN, MSNBC, uh, the New York Times, the Washington Post, the usual suspects.